No matter how great the story of a series or a movie, if they pick the wrong cast, the storytelling will suffer. That's why the Netflix hit series, My Life with the Walter Boys, became sensational. We have a great story, and the cast is fantastic at telling it. But have you ever wondered how the cast landed their roles? I mean, how handsome is Noah Lalonde as Cole? How perfect Ashby Gentry is in playing his role as Alex? And how beautiful and lucky Nikki Rodriguez is to play the role of Jackie? Well, keep watching because in this video, we're going to reveal how they landed their roles. And not only that, if you watch this video until the end, I promise you'll get all the exclusive details about the upcoming Season 2 of My Life with the Walter Boys. Meet the characters. Let's start with the 21-year-old Nikki Rodriguez who is playing the role of Jackie. See, Jackie's world turns upside down with the tragic loss of her family. Moving from the hustle of Manhattan to Colorado, she's thrown into a whole new life with the Walters that captures the hearts of two Walter boys. Rodriguez appeared in To Be King, Nightbird, Blackheart, and On My Block Season 4. Next up, meet the 22-year-old Ashby Gentry, who brings Alex Walter to life and Jackie's second love interest. Alex is the shy, nerdy Walter boy who falls for Jackie at first sight. In real life, Ashby is shining bright in the acting world and has already made an impression in Are You Afraid of the Dark? and Speechless as Trevor. Moving on to a 25-year-old Noah Lalonde, who embodies the Walter family's misunderstood bad boy Cole Walter. Lalonde appeared in Ashbury Park, Criminal Minds, and Deer Camp 86. And fun fact, Noah's high school hockey experience helped him connect with his character Cole as he revealed in a Bello interview saying, for a long time, I was Noah Lalonde the hockey player, and my character was always known as Cole Walter, the local star quarterback. We ended our careers in different ways. I left willingly, and he by force of injury, but those emotions that come with that redefining process were the jumping off point for me. And who's running the Walter Ranch without George, the patriarch who runs the Colorado Ranch played by Mark Blukas. The real-life experience of his small farm in Pennsylvania and his background in historical design and restoration bring authenticity to his role. Talking to Tadam, he shared in an interview saying, This idea of a guy working on a ranch and farm and trying to make it work and raise kids. He's also excited about playing this role, saying on Instagram, Loved parenting all these crazy talented actors with my Walter Boys TV wife at I am Sarah Grafferty. On the other hand, you might recognize Mark from hits like Buffy the Vampire Slayer and Narcos Mexico. Last but not least is Sarah Rafferty steps in as Catherine, the Walter family matriarch. She came from the hit series Suits playing Donna Paulson. All the changes from book to screen. The showrunner Melanie Hossel gives us the scoop inside the story by saying, We have to make changes to make it work as a TV series. The way relationships unfold, especially Jackie and Alex's, is slightly different than in the book and what happens at the end will surprise people because it's different from the book. But I'm hoping that gives both the audience that loves the book and the new audience a bit of a surprise. The Walter family on the show is Catherine and George Walter and their 10 kids, but in the book, there were 11 kids. In an interview with Entertainment Weekly, Hossel admits, The TV series takes off a little from the book. There are fewer boys in the family, for a start. Two of the twin sets become just one, and that's quite a big change I think people will notice. Now, let's talk about Cole and Jackie's kiss. In the book, Cole and Jackie's kiss happens during a truth or dare game. But in the show, they flip the script because when Cole leans in for the kiss, Jackie has a bit too much to drink, and it doesn't end with a kiss. Instead, she pukes on him. Fans had to wait until the final episode to see the moment when Cole and Jackie finally kissed. Another one is when Jackie admits her feelings to Cole, and Alex overhears, leading to a peaceful resolution and paving the way for Jackie and Cole's romance. However, in the show, it's a dramatic scene with Jackie finding out Cole fixed her sister's teapot and then confronting him in the shed, leading to a passionate kiss. A few times. And unlike the book's calm ending, the show ends with Jackie fleeing to New York City, leaving a trail of drama behind. Furthermore, the ending of episode 10 leaves us hanging, though Halsell confirmed that Alex and Jackie don't split up immediately. But what happens with Cole at the end might change that. She said, what happens at the end will surprise people because it's different from the book. But I'm hoping that gives both the audience that loves the book and the new audience a bit of a surprise. Finally, Rodriguez, who plays Jackie, says, I understand Jackie's dilemma. Alex is more of that puppy love, that friendship, that safe relationship. But you just love them so much. But the cool one is more of the passionate one, the one you shouldn't love. Where was my life with the Walter Boys inspired? 
Believe it or not, Ali Novak, the genius behind My Life with the Walter Boys, was just 15 when she began writing this captivating story. She put her story out there on Wattpad. And interestingly, in a chat with Entertainment Weekly, Novak spilled the beans that My Life with the Walter Boys is inspired by the hit TV show The Vampire Diaries, which is the same show that had us all hooked with Nina Dobrev, Ian Summerhalder, and Paul Wesley's tantalizing love triangle. Moreover, Novak was totally captivated by the Damon and Stefan dynamic from The Vampire Diaries, as she said, there's always something to be said about love triangles, but it was inspired by Damon and Stefan from The Vampire Diaries. There's just something so compelling about a love triangle. And there are so many YA books that have been influenced by that show. Fans are eagerly calling for a second season. People are buzzing about a second season. Even Collider can't get enough of this show, saying, My Life with the Walter Boys is a perfectly pleasant binge watch with several solid breakthrough performances and some delightful turns for more seasoned actors. I mean, who wouldn't love a show like that? It's got drama, fun, and characters that feel like your next-door neighbors. That's why fans everywhere are craving for more. Just like this one viewer said, Such a refreshing series. People with everyday wishes, dreams, challenges, no dark or heavy storylines. Characters very likable. The storyline kept me watching one show after the other. Looking forward to season two. And another fan can't hold back either, saying, my Life with the Walter Boys is an amazing show, and the show had many emotions and excitement. I can't wait for season two. But while we're all loving this drama, it seems not everyone's on the same page. With a solid 78% audience rating on Rotten Tomatoes, the critics are giving it just 38%. And honestly, that's quite a gap. Variety had their say, pointing out some concerns. Unfortunately, generic storylines, a massive cast, and puzzling choices from the adults and teens alike made for a middling tale. Furthermore, AV Club added, There are harmful behaviors in this that are never questioned at all, and it's also not sweet, fun, or funny enough to hold its own against better shows. Will there be a second season of My Life with the Walter Boys? As much as we're all dying to find out what happens next with Jackie, Cole, Alex, and the entire Walter clan, here's the deal. Netflix hasn't said yes to a sequel just yet, so the future of more drama-filled episodes is still up in the air. And I know we're all eagerly waiting, but the series just hit Netflix on December 7th. It seems like the big bosses are keeping an eye on how well it does before they chat about another season. However, Ali Novak answered the question about season 2, saying on her website, In the past, I've said there won't be a published sequel. However, now that the show has been released on Netflix, I may or may not be working on something exciting. Keep your eyes peeled for exciting news by following me on Twitter and Instagram. So, if Season 2 will happen, what should it look like? Especially since there's no book sequel and no official word on Season 2 yet. Well, the first series ended with Jackie and Cole sharing a sweet kiss before Jackie heads back to New York. If we get a new series, it could either follow Jackie's life or, I mean, this is what we're hoping for see her return to Colorado to be with the Walters. Well, who knows what the future holds for my life with the Walter boys. For now, we can only dream and hope for more adventures with our favorite characters.